Hello, hello all. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, I am Amber. Today, I wanted to talk about Linda Sun. So if you have not checked out Linda Sun's channel, she is a young girl. I think she's like 21-ish. I might be wrong. She's in her early 20s. She's in college. And her whole channel is basically about what she eats, what she does for workouts, and a lot of body positivity talk. Now, Linda is a petite girl i would say but she struggled throughout her life i think she specifically mentioned like in high school and middle school feeling a little bit pudgy and always feeling like she needed to lose weight and she just was never really confident in her own skin so she went on a weight loss journey and it wasn't anything like super major like i said she's a pretty small girl but she just was not comfortable in her body temporary thoughts linda you failed you let yourself go you're not beautiful anymore people are going to notice she talks about how she went on this journey to lose weight and really all the things that she learned from it and how the restrictive eating was really bad for her and she had just like really kind of got a negative mindset from focusing so much on these things. So what I love about Linda, first off, she incorporates her family into her videos so much. She lives at home with her parents and then she has an older brother, I believe that's her only sibling, but he lives out of town and um, they're very tight knit. So her mom does a lot of the cooking, like their dinners and stuff like that. And then Linda makes a lot of her own and like snacks and stuff. Take care of myself, continued feeding myself pancakes and tell myself I'm not worth any less because I weigh a little bit more. It's really cool because she's always talking with her family about the food. She's very dramatic when she's eating food. She's like, oh my God, this is so good. Her family does workouts with her. They do Chloe Ting and like some other YouTube workouts and they're together in the living room working out and they just have a really fun family life. And Linda Sun has the funnest videos. The way that she does them, it's a lot of like B-roll, voiceover type stuff but she also has footage of her eating and of her doing these workouts anyway it's super cool and she's very motivating she doesn't come off as like you have to live like this way or that way to be great but she talks a lot about like what she decided to do and how happy it has made her she's also very real she talks about some weight gain that she had and balancing school and life and YouTube and how that's been a struggle for her but so what my body is always changing it's unrealistic to expect my body to stay at one point forever and I have more more important things to do with my time than stress and cry over my weight. So I wanted to do like my reaction to Linda Sun. Now I love her videos. When I first started watching YouTube, which wasn't that long ago, I stumbled upon her videos. First off, her thumbnails super clickbaity, and you might see her thumbnail and be like, oh my god, this girl, because it's a picture of her like in a bikini or something looking freaking fabulous with pictures of all this like peanut butter, banana, pancake, food, and you're just like, what? And you have to click it because her thumbnails are super great, super attractive, and it just makes you want to click it. But then you get to know her and you realize she's actually nothing like her thumbnails look she's not all into like looking great being a bikini model nothing like that so I wanted to do my kind of my reaction to the way that she eats and lives and having been a hundred pounds more than a hundred pounds heavier than I am now and then being the weight that I am now and being kind of in the fitness world I wanted to do my reaction from both me's so from plus 100 pound me and from now me because I am a little bit concerned with people watching her videos and the mindset that they might get or not the mindset that they might get but people watching her videos and the thoughts that they might have about her or about her lifestyle. So let's start with plus 100 pound me reacting to Linda Sun. So if I weighed what I did before and I was watching Linda, there's a couple little things that might happen. Well, Linda eats these protein pancakes with five pounds of peanut butter on them. Like people, I mean, it's a lot of peanut butter. And the thing is, I feel like people new to losing weight, so me, 100 pound me, often we think like, wow, peanut butter is healthy and I could eat that much because look at Linda she eats that much peanut butter and she looks the way that she does so let me go out and eat a tub of peanut butter no 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 peanut butter is very high in fat so if you're eating it a ton of peanut butter and you truly need to lose a lot of weight that is not going to work in your favor but if you do have it in moderation which Linda talks about how like she doesn't want to be moderating her peanut butter because she loves it so she's gonna eat it but keep in mind that Linda eats pretty clean if you look at her food it's a lot of fruits veggies just like really whole food she does eat a ton of food but it's very 
whole food. And so people on the outside might think like, oh, I could just eat all of that food like Linda, but they have to consider what Linda is actually eating and how clean and like unprocessed it is. Her mom also makes a lot of like authentic Asian dishes. And again, those dishes do have noodles, but they're like full of these healthy fats and vegetables and they're just like really good clean foods. Now, if you go to Panda Express and you buy something that you think looks like that like vegetable full chow mein or whatever meal that Linda was eating, I mean, her mom, I'm gonna tell you, her mom makes it the most delicious looking food. Like it looks so good. So if you go and try to eat whatever Linda is eating, but you're buying it like a fast food restaurant or making it in your own kitchen, you might not be getting the same results because Linda's mom is a boss in the kitchen and Linda's mom knows what she's doing and gives Linda whole and healthy food. And Linda also eats popcorners. Those are delicious. They are lower in calories than regular potato chips. However, if you eat a whole bag like Linda sometimes does, you're probably not gonna get the best result if you have a lot of weight to lose. So while I love everything that Linda is saying, I just kind of wanna warn people, if you eat like Linda, but you don't work out like Linda, and you are not actually Linda, and you do not have Linda's mom at your house, you might not get the results that Linda does. So I think it's great that she's out there talking about like just being in a good mindset and not feeling too poorly about your body and not letting food control you. But please do keep in mind that if you want to have results and you truly are unhealthy and overweight and you need to lose some weight, you probably can't eat just like Linda's son. However, there are many things that Linda eats that you can eat in moderation. Linda eats ice cream sometimes, she eats donuts sometimes, that's fine. While Linda might have massive plates of pancakes, I don't think she eats that multiple times a day. And like I mentioned before, the foods that she's eating are like clean, whole foods. Yeah, she does, like I said, she eats some donuts and some ice cream. However, for the most part, she's eating these really clean, good meals. And another thing to consider is that Linda works out a lot. She shows us clips of her working out and she does talk about how she, like with school and stuff, she got a little off a of routine and she wasn't moving her body as much. But you see Linda sweating all the time. So if you're gonna eat like Linda, you've gotta sweat like Linda. Do the workouts that she tells you to. You gotta be a boss in the workout area like Linda. Linda's mom's working out, her dad's working out, her dad is rich. He has got a crazy six pack. I mean, the whole family is eating good and moving their bodies. So, you know, inspire your family to be like Linda. It's everybody move together, everybody eat together. Just do all the things together and hopefully get success. Now, like I mentioned before, one thing that I love about Linda is her overall positivity about how she doesn't wanna beat herself up about what she's eating and she doesn't wanna fixate on calories but she does talk about how sometimes that's still in the back of her mind. And one day she did count calories for the entire day to see around how many she ate. And you know what? She really didn't go overboard. So while Linda doesn't actively count calories, she does have a history of counting calories, which was very likely to influence the healthy decisions that she makes now. So I'm willing to bet that when she's putting together her, her meals now, while she's not actively counting calories, she does remember the calorie count of certain foods and she is considering the fact that like, oh, I know that this is a healthier choice than that. So I know that I can eat all of these banana pancakes and that's okay versus like all of those donuts, maybe not. So she does really focus on fueling her body with the whole healthy foods that she's eating. If I was my 100 pound self and I was watching Linda's videos, quite honestly, I'd be like, really Linda, you're tiny. Of course you can eat all those pancakes. Of course you can eat ice cream. I'd probably be pretty angry with her that she was out there telling me I could eat whatever I want and that I should not worry about the calories that I'm taking in. But I just want to, to speak to those who are currently overweight and trying to lose weight. Don't think too much about what Linda's actually eating. Think more about what she's saying. Think more about the fact that she's talking about not punishing herself for eating bad foods, not withholding foods that she really wants. Think about the fact that she talks about how fixated she got on calories and how much that hurt her soul basically. It was kind of making her very run down. So think about the things that she's saying about her relationship with food as you are dieting or watching what you eat or whatever. So maybe you don't go eat the pancakes with all the peanut butter like Linda does, but please think about the things that Linda says and make sure that you aren't getting on the track that Linda found herself down before. I personally found myself down that road when I was trying to lose weight. I was beating myself up for eating foods and I think a lot like Linda 
Linda does now. I'm a very active athlete now. I run a lot, I work out a lot, I eat a lot of food that I absolutely could not have eaten 100 pounds ago. If I was eating that food 100 pounds ago before I started moving my body on a regular basis, I would not be where I am today. So we all have to start somewhere and if you have a lot of weight to lose, of course, you are gonna have to really think about your food options and you are going to have to think a little bit more about how much of everything you're eating. But you don't need to beat yourself up about it. You don't need to punish yourself if you make a bad choice. I am glad to say I can kind of eat like Linda now, but I also have a lot of dedication when it comes to my workouts and moving my body is a priority. If I wasn't moving my body the way that I am, I wouldn't be able to eat those things. So it really works together. And I think Linda has talked about like moving her body and how when she chooses to eat bad foods, she doesn't feel as good moving her body, but when she fuels her body with these really healthy foods, she feels great moving her body. So remember that those work together. The better foods that you put into your body, the better you feel when you move. The more that you want to move and the more you're moving, the more you're craving those healthy foods to get you fueled. It really is a cycle that goes around and around and I noticed that for myself. Sure, I might eat candy or ice cream sometimes like Linda, but if I eat too much and then I wake up in the morning to go on my run, I feel like crap and I don't wanna feel like that, so I would rather just put in the foods that I know make me feel good. What I'm saying here basically is definitely think about what Linda's saying no matter what size you are. She has a very positive relationship with food now, but she does still talk about how sometimes in her mind those things creep up and I think that that's normal. It's hard not to think about what the food that you're putting into your body can do to your body. Just try to reframe that in a positive mindset. Think about this good food going into my body will do this for me. Because if you're thinking in that way, then I think you're gonna be less likely to put bad food into your body. Now, I think Linda is absolutely great. I love her videos. I love them as me now where I can kind of eat and think the way that she does. And I think that even back 100 pounds ago, if I would have really opened my mind, I would have been able to love what she was saying and think about how I needed to be nice to my body and not beat myself up. So anyway, that is my reaction to Linda's son as a whole. She's awesome. I wish I could eat the foods that she eats. I actually can't eat peanut butter or bananas, but I'm telling you that stuff her mom makes, like. Linda, if you watch this, please invite me over. I want to hang out with you and your mom. I want to eat that, I don't know, that bread that you made. That looks delicious. If you guys haven't seen that, go watch Linda's channel and find, I think it's called like Bin, no, I don't know what it's called. Her mom makes some type of a, I believe it's like an Asian bread and it looks delicious. It's like a flatbread, non looking thing. Anyway, she gives a recipe. I'm going to make that sometime. Linda, if you're, if you're watching this, please invite me over to hang out with you and your mom do some killer workouts. Anyway, you guys, thank you for watching this video. Go watch Linda's videos. Like Linda doesn't even know who I am, but I just think she's great. And I think she has so much to offer and her videos are super entertaining. Her family is so fun. And I just wanted to throw out there what I think of Linda. I've seen a lot of other videos like eating like Linda for a day. I can't even eat peanut butter or bananas because I'm allergic. So that's sad. I guess I could do like eating like Linda son the best I can for a day, but honestly, I eat a lot like Linda anyway, except for I don't have this mom at my house who's making this bomb food. Thank you for watching. Tune in for more videos on healthy tips, tricks, weight loss, and who knows what else, some vlogs. Another reason I love Linda's channel. She talks about weight loss and food, but it's also like you're just hanging out with her. And who doesn't like to hang out with somebody with a great mindset? See you guys next time. Bye.